What's up traders? This is VTrace and today we'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Netflix with the ticker symbol NFLX. I will first be going over what I see in the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Please trade at your own risk. So if you guys want to see more Netflix, please uh, give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm going to be thinking about doing Netflix every Sunday from now on. I want to do a lot of the um, uh, large cap tech stocks, you know, like the FANG stocks. So I'm looking at doing Netflix, uh, Amazon, Apple, Google, Microsoft, Facebook, NVIDIA, uh, Microsoft, like I mentioned. Uh, so just, you know, um, f subscribe to the channel. Make sure you give the video a like. That tells me you guys want to see more of it. So let's take a look at what happened in the short term, you know, just dating it back a couple of weeks to a couple of months. Basically, we were consolidating at the highs of this uptrend before seeing a gap down lower. So this was basically looking like a failed breakout now. Uh, we gap down lower. We gap down right to this prior support right here at the uh, 550. Now we're bouncing up. It looks like we're seeing a reversal take place. And can it continue higher? It looks likely because we have this bullish trend line in favor of the bulls now. We're starting to get back above the EMA. And it looks like we're coming back down up to fill in this gap at the 602 with the low 600. So again, it looks like the trend is reversing higher. And we could be setting up to see uh, this trend line right here um, take place. Because if you copy it, if it also fits pretty good on the top side. So it looks like we could be in this type of channel as right now. So short term is looking pretty good. We'll see if the bulls can get up to the low 600s and let's see what if it happens once it gets there. If we get rejected, we can see another large drop. If we break it, it's probably gonna retest the prior highs of the uptrend. So we'll see what happens. Uh, a lot of things can happen in the future, but as right now, short term is looking bullish. Let's take a more bird's eye view of this chart, just more zoomed out. You can see this is all one leg right here. If we go and move it over, this is the target that the bulls are trying to reach, and they are almost there, which is right around the uh, you know, 668, 669, which coincides with the prior all-time high back over here in November of 2021. So there's a good chance that price will probably break it sometime this year. The trend is still very strong to the upside. So that's all I see on the daily chart. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. I do want to draw this trend line, but I could do it on the weekly chart. So you see that it's still very bullish looking. You see that price is consecutively making higher highs, higher lows. Uh, let me go and draw it out. So we have a higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. So again, it looks just a uh, very strong uptrend. Staying above the EMA is pointing up. Uh, most of the bars are above it. This is a telltale sign of an uptrend. It uh, looks like we just saw a large drop, but that's probably just a short trap. Just to think, you know, just to trap traders thinking, oh, okay, we're going to reverse, but then they start entering short and then the price reverses strongly against them. So it looks like this is coming back up to fill in the gap at the low 600s, possibly even see a breakout on the top side of the orange range at the, you know, 634, 65 to reach the measure target and the prior all-time high. Uh, we have this bullish trend line right here. Now it looks like we could be starting the second uh, trend line a little bit more steeper and we'll see what happens. But as right now, this, that looks pretty good to the upside. Maybe in the future, I can look at a longer term measurement target. All of this is one gigantic leg up. And if we start the second gigantic leg, that takes price right around to 855 levels. So that's where I would be targeting uh, price to reach. Um, probably in this bull market uh, in the coming, probably this year, maybe sometime next year we can get there. So we'll see if we can reach the 846. Again, it's a large move up. What can happen technically to get it there or fundamentally, no one knows for sure. But as long as price continues to moving up higher, that's what the market decides. Uh, the market is, you know, deciding on what it wants to do with the stock, regardless of the fundamentals. Uh, they think the fundamentals are bad, but if the price continues pushing up higher, then someone with a lot of money thinks that is good. So that's what you have to look at. So it doesn't really matter. That's the reality of the situation. Situation. So I'm bullish short term and looks like long term for Netflix. This is VTrace and thank you for your time.